This is the R House. It's a LEED Platinum certified two bedroom, one bath house built on a high school campus. That's pretty unusual. Let's go find out more. Our house is a very, very, very fine house. Hi, Mr. McDougall. Hello. So this is the R House. This is the R House at Kasumna Oaks High School. Let me show you around. Now everything is easy because of you. The R in our house stands for resource and so it was just our way of showing a house has many resources and we wanted to make sure that they were as sustainable as possible. The R House was not only built on campus, it was designed entirely by students who never expected to see it built. Tim McDougall is the co-coordinator of the architectural design program at Consumnus Oaks High School. It was a project for my design students. I gave them the assignment to design a two bedroom, one bath house and we started from foundation plans and worked all the way up through the elevation and the roof of the plan. So they, they designed the whole process. I took CAD, which is computer-aided design, my junior year. Um, and this is when we came up with the R House. Jordan McDougall graduated two years ago. She's proud of her work on the R House, which involved advanced framing, not your usual high school assignment. A normal house, you would start 16 inches on center with the studs, but with advanced framing, it's 24 inches on center, so you're saving lumber and you're reducing the waste. Liz Schneider was in the same class, and it changed her career path. I'm a mechanical engineering major at Sac State. And that was all because of, you know, being in this academy that inspired me to become an engineer. It was never a concept to build a house. It was only a, a project to design a house. You know, the bell rings and the, and the semester's over and, uh, and it's done. But three weeks later, I received a phone call. That's when he learned the school had been awarded a $100,000 grant from a charitable foundation. And that became the seed money so that we could build the house. Freshman James Lloyd recalls being amazed at seeing a house being built at his school. So when I came here, I did um, get to see the actual building of the house, you know, the architects and the builders were here. And so that was really cool to see, you know, the idea actually come to life. As a Green Building Council LEED Platinum Certified House, every detail is a lesson in sustainability and saving energy. So now we're in the kitchen and every house has a kitchen, but what's different? What makes this one energy efficient? Well, there's a number of features. The, just the water efficient features that we have in it include the dishwasher uses less water, the uh, faucet uses less water. Um, but in addition to that, we have linoleum, which is what a product that you would see in your, your great grandmother's house right. um, because it lasts forever, but it's made from linseed oils. It's a very uh, sustainable project. The countertops are made from recycled materials, and those cupboards may be painted white, but underneath, they're a sustainable green. They're actually made from wheat board. It's the wheat stalks. It's recycled and pressed into, into boards so that we could use them for the cabinets. So this was designed as a two-bedroom house. There's no sleeping in the two bedrooms. They're used as meeting or office spaces, but our house is plenty busy. And then here is the living area or the classroom. So this is where we have students come in. We learn about um, the, the different features of the house. We also have uh, our engineering design class is able to come over here and see what it is that they're designing. So that's pretty fun. Um, the back wall is a whiteboard, and so you get a chance to write all over the wall. So it's a kind of a nice little product. This is the room that you were talking about, the acoustic ceilings, right? One of those issues that the you had. The acoustic ceilings in the state of California says that for a classroom, you have to have an acoustic ceiling. Well, we didn't want acoustic tiles that made it look like a classroom. And so the company that manufactures the acoustic tiles actually came, used their sprayer, designed a technique so that they could spray it on, knock it down, so that it would be an acoustic ceiling but not be tiles. The energy-saving LED lights and fans that move the air are powered by a sophisticated solar system, which student Hannah Berg says is her favorite Our House feature. So the solar tracker, basically, these are the stationary um, solar panels in the back here, but this one tracks the sun all day long, so it gets as much sun as possible. So does it move with the sunlight? Yeah, so as the sun moves, it tilts with it. But our house still isn't finished. This semester's big project was improving the outside. So the landscaping, my whole class really worked hard on this this term. And it's called xeriscaping, and you're taking native plants, anything that takes really low water, and we're putting it into the yard to make it, you know, more energy and efficient, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> These students have learned the importance of building green. We don't have very sustainable 
resources that we're using to build buildings and other things right now. And by using greener technologies like solar panels and stuff, it's going to produce a lot less waste and things are going to be much more sustainable. Most people don't know, but actually buildings, houses, anything, it contributes more CO2, CO2 to the atmosphere than actually cars do. This is kind of the future, you know, we're going to need to know things like building green and um, it's really going to make a difference uh, for what we do in the future in terms of careers. Our house serves as a living laboratory where even future students will get important lessons. A lot of credit goes out to the students and there's a lot of pride in their accomplishment. One of the things that I've learned about students is if you give them an opportunity to work on a project, especially a project of this magnitude, it's so big, um, ultimately they're going to walk away and they will talk about the house that they were able to build on campus. Just being a part of that is really awesome and knowing that we even got this opportunity to build something like this, it's really incredible.